Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net and welcome again to a very exciting tutorial. And I say again because we have never actually had a tutorial, but this time is different. Today we're actually going to be creating some cool stuff. So let's jump right in. Here's what we're going to be creating. So it's, uh, you know, it's a few different things. Um, mainly we're going to be focusing on this breaking up of the letters. And in this other example that you may have seen on the website, what's happening is the layers have been broken up into pieces and are sort of scattering to come together. Now we're not going to actually be doing this example, but we're going to show you everything you need to know to create this. And again, a more elegant, almost glass-like reveal right there. So the idea is to break the layer up into multiple pieces, multiple chunks, and control them so that they can come together. Now, it's done through a pretty simple process, and we're going to be using some cool scripts and expressions, which, as you know, are very easy and you love them. Now, I was going to do this tutorial a while ago, but I was sick, and it just didn't seem to go away. So I went to the doctor and he basically checked me out. You know, I told him what I did. I said, yeah, I make these video tutorials. He didn't know what I was talking about. Anyway, I said, yeah, I need, to, I need to be able to talk clearly. And so he actually checked me out and went on to tell me that I was going to die and that I probably should just go ahead and record as much as I possibly can. I said, wow. So I went home, um, you know, distraught, really. I, uh, you know, I packed up all my things, I gave it away to friends and relatives, I told them what was happening, and uh, they, they couldn't believe it. I mean, they were happy to get the stuff, obviously, but they were in shock. And then a couple of hours later, the doctor calls me back, says, hey, just kidding about earlier, you're fine, uh, things look like they're clearing up, um, you know, we'll see you next week, whatever it was. And I, I was, I guess I was happy, and you know, I was going to live. That's always good. So I called up all my friends and, and family. I said, hey, listen, uh, I'm, I'm okay, but I need to get my stuff back. And I tell you what, you'd think they'd be happy to know I was going to be all right, but I'll tell you something. You're better off just keeping your stuff and, well, you're better off just not dying, actually. Actually, most of that story isn't even true. Uh, just the real situation why I couldn't record the tutorial wasn't nearly as interesting, so I made that up. Uh, moving on, though, let's go ahead and uh, what, what are we doing here? First thing we're going to do, create a new composition. And we'll go ahead and use the D1 widescreen at 24 frames per second, 10 seconds long, and we'll choose OK. We'll go ahead and switch back to the standard user interface color. Just looks better on black and it's easier on my eyes. And what we have is a still image from our monster comp. And we'll take a look at actually creating this in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at actually fracturing this image. Now, it's a multi-step process, and you have to kind of follow it. But it's pretty cool, and it's pretty versatile. So what we're going to do is pre-compose. So if you take a video or a layer, anything, just go ahead, pre-compose it first thing. And we'll call this our shot, move all attributes, choose OK. And the next thing, we're going to take the pen tool, and this is the fun part. You basically just randomly draw lines through the video and, you know, and then you can actually just make some adjustments to it so that the pieces are somewhat evenly spaced. Um, be careful about really small pieces. You don't want pieces that are really small because it just gets a little complicated. But anyway, you want to fracture it similarly to this, but you can cut it up as much as you want. And the next thing you want to do is hit M, and that brings up our mask. And we're going to duplicate that mask. So edit, duplicate, and we'll invert it. So now we've brought our image all back except for this fine line, which we'll address in a moment. And what we want to do is go into the mask controls and set the expansion to negative 1.5. We'll hide the masks for a moment. And 1.5 for the second. 
So what we've created is basically holes all around these chunks. And the idea is to make the alpha of each chunk non-contiguous with any other part of the image. So basically, we should be able to draw a line around each part. And once we do that, then we can use the fancy auto trace tool. Click on that, and we have a few options. I've already set it up, but you're going to want to play around with the settings. Uh, if you turn the preview on, you can see what it's going to look like. And these settings work really well. Make sure you're on the alpha channel, and then we're going to choose OK. And what it's going to do is create a whole bunch of masks for each of those shapes. And because each shape is contiguous, each one of these masks is going to represent each chunk. So I'll go ahead and take the top two layers here, and we'll go ahead and delete those. And then I'll take our other layers, hold down Shift, select the last layer, and set it to Add. And that way we're adding it back in. But we also want to get rid of the hole. So hit MM, and set the expansion to about 3. And that way the layers essentially overlap, and they cover over each other. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this. Um, sometimes it looks cool to actually have the gaps in the image, but for what we're doing, we're going to go ahead and fill the gaps. Kind of like when you're watching a tutorial and I totally skip over some part and you have no idea what I'm doing, you can just, uh, you know, fill in the gaps. Uh, moving on. Now, what we need to do is take each mask and separate it into its own layer. So each layer is its own piece. But that could take a very long time, especially if you have a lot of pieces. So, we have a great script we're going to be using and it's going to be part of this download project. What you need to do to run the script is select the layer with all the masks, choose File, Scripts, Run Script File, open up the Masks to Layer JavaScript, and choose Open. It takes a second and it automatically creates a whole bunch of layers from each of those masks. And, it takes your original shot and shuts it off, so it's not even on anymore. And that's basically what the script is going to do. But, we want to animate this and control it in a very dynamic way. So right now we have the layers, but animating them would be kind of a pain to do them all manually and individually. So, instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead, step back a moment, I'm going to delete all those layers that we just created. I'm going to take our original, turn it back on, and before I run that script, I'm going to create an adjustment layer. And this is going to be our control layer. By the way, to rename layers, hit return or enter on the main keyboard. 